right, Yvonne, this is Thrifting for Resale number 30. This is the follow-up to Thrift with Me number 18. <laughs> that one with the pumpkin spice uh, color theme. So I know I promised this on Thursday or Friday, and I did do it. And for some reason, Screencast-O-Matic like, didn't sync the audio. So it was like a foreign overdubbed movie where like I'm doing this, and then my voice comes three seconds later. <laughs> Anyways, so then there was the weekend, so now we're going to try it again here on Monday. So, here we go. I've just pulled out the highlights, and we're going to take a closer look at some of the things that, if you went thrifting with me, if you watched that video, you saw me pick up um, live at the thrift store. And some a few things you might not have seen. So, there's quite a bit, so some of it I left over there because it's just for me. Sometimes the things that I'm buying for friends, family, myself, I'll still talk about it, the resale value. So, you know, there's just um, a couple of Halloween items that are new and some of those silver fade glasses, but they're not Dorothy Thorpe. Okay, let's get started. Um, this is the big winner. Well, one of the big winners. Okay, let's let this be number one. This is all silver. I can't wait to talk about this. But let's get started. <clears throat> so you saw me pull this out. Um, 99 cents um, for one of our daughters has two French Bulldogs. So I pulled this out for her. It might look cute in their game room. They have a game room with the pool table and foosball and stuff. But looking at it closer, it has all these connections. And so when I did my reverse image search, I found out that this is actually a, um, a boom beat, boom beat, what Bluetooth speaker. <laughs> so those are the charging areas. Here's the speaker part and they retail for like 40 to $60. This one's out of the box. It doesn't have all the cords, but, um, I'm sure if she wants to use it for that, they can figure it out. Um, I did charge it with one of my chargers and it seems to work, but I just thought they would have fun with that um, just as a little decoration piece. But it is a thing, okay? $40 to $60 is average re retail, new in box retail. Boom beats. Okay. Um, so Jasperware, I've only sold one thing of Jasperware since I discovered, you know, what it was. I mean, you always see these kind of things, right? You always see them. That matted pink, blue, or minty green things. This is a Wedgwood, I think, which is the leader I've learned in the last 10 weeks. You know, I'm still learning this kind of stuff. Wedgwood is the leader of Jasperware. And some people are predicting a big comeback for Jasperware, so we'll see. <laughs> but anyway, some of it still has a decent resale value. This one, I think think will this was a dollar 59 it's a trinket box there's nothing wrong with it at all i'm going to um, be carefully remove the tape again um wedgwood i'll put the name up okay w-e-d-g-w-o-o-d -O -O no other e wedgwood so this one i think i can get 20 dollars for when i was looking at comps so maybe i've only sold one other piece of jasper wear and it actually was not a wedgwood so you know um part-time i do this part-time i love it and i have fun with it some parts some elements of it are like a game like and so i want to cross wedgwood off of my um you know reseller bucket list sold that sold that sold that so Sometimes I'm, I might dip under $20 just because something's so cool or so nostalgic or I want to say I sold one of those. <laughs> okay, but for those that are learning like me, there's a name for you. Let's do this. I don't know if you're going to be able to see how beautiful this is. Okay, it just looks like dark blue or black, but it's actually cobalt glass. That beautiful midnight blue purplish cobalt glass. And... Google image search helps me with this. This is a Russian engraved glass egg. And some people say Fabergé in their listings. I don't know if they just mean Fabergé style or it's connected. That I still have to look into, okay? Because I don't want to add Fabergé if it's not really a thing. Because you're not supposed to keyword spam like that. It's called search and browse manipulation on eBay. Anyways, 
Um, a couple of these just sold in the $40 to $80 range. So it is really pretty. It's all engraved. Um, no maker's mark. I paid $1.59 or $1.99. So we'll see what happens to that. Interesting, huh? So let's stay with the Russian theme and do these little figurines. It's so funny. I was putting out a little video clip on one of the groups that I joined to learn more about vintage stuff. And I was just holding something else up to help with identification. And these were just barely in the background. And someone recognized them. Some of those people in that group know their stuff. She goes, because she made a comment. She goes, are those Russian um, raccoons and foxes I see in the background? And I was like, man, but yeah, they are. These are adorable. Oh my gosh. Perfect condition. A little bit more resale value on these, okay? There's two foxes and two raccoons. I paid $1.59 each. They're gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. They do have the marking on them. Let's see, I'll find the best one to show you. I looked at their website. I'm going to try to say this, you guys. Here's the name. I'm going to edit this and put the name up. So I'm pointing because that's where I'm going to put the name. <laughs> okay. But it's Lomonosov. I'm just guessing. I don't know. Oh, goodness. Don't ship or break one, girl. Let's see if we can show you guys. I don't know if that's going to happen. No. But they are marked. Again, here's the name again. This is where I'm going to put it when I edit. <laughs> Adorable. So I went to the website. Some of these are still in production. I think one was retired. Some are still in production. And to buy them ship from the website, shipping is like $16 for figurines. And they're $30 to $60 for the things I have. Um, so I think if I price them around $25, some, one of them I think I can do $30, I think it'll sell to a collector. So I'm not going to be in a hurry. These are perfect and adorable. Um, they also make a lot of china. So I'm going to put a picture up, okay, because they make a lot of china. And anyone who's learning like me, I encourage you to write that down and go to their website and look around and learn that because some of their items, even their figurines and other gift items that they make are worth a lot of money, resale value. And there's a little bit of information about copycat fakes from China because some of their um, dinnerware in China, elegant China porcelain stuff <laughs> is high value. And so I guess it's being copied. So, um, okay. And along those lines, I found two more horses. This one, they're both beautiful. Well done. And this one does have the label on it that says, it says Victoria. So I think with that one still being marked and the beauty of it and perfect not even a repair not even a chipped ear um, I think I can get a little bit more maybe around the $20 range than what you know figurines like this usually do um, this one doesn't have the sticker but it is marked if someone knows it's marked just with a capital B and it says number 106 you you won't see it it's inside the leg here so I thought okay could this be an early briar maybe that's how they marked them you know way back I don't know um, I didn't see where Briar did that marking so I'm still looking on this but this one's really nice too let me hold it differently without breaking it see this one has some good muscle structure the eyes are beautifully painted it's cute in there on the leg is where it's marked if anybody knows anything about that that would be great but I really like selling the figurines because I just sold that shadow box that had, what, about 20 Siamese cats in it. Most of them were Hagen Renaker, if I'm saying it right. Hagen Renaker. Someone helped me with that again at one of the Facebook groups. So I put it at $88 and that's what it sold for. That just went out and she got it and already gave me good feedback. That was like a week and a half ago. Here, I'll put a picture up. Okay, so I really am enjoying learning about figurines, miniatures, and all the way up. 
So these are identical. Little, <laughs> aren't they cute? Just little skunks. They look like they could be salt and pepper shakers, but they don't have the hole up here because some people have these for sale and they are salt and pepper shakers. So I don't know if these were just left as figurines or if they're a boo-boo or what. They're in perfect shape. They do have a sticker. One of them has the sticker on it, but it's too faded from washing. I did try to like go over it lightly with lead pencil and it did kind of help a little bit. And then I took a picture and blew it up, but it's still no help. So, you know, these don't have a great value, but they're just adorable. So maybe someone will want them for a project or something. I'll probably just put those up for like $10, $10, maybe $8 a piece, 15 for both of them, something like that. Okay, we should get some of this off there, huh? All right, let's do this. Lots of vases. I think I figured out why I like the vases so much because even before I took a deeper dive into this kind of stuff, hard goods and vintage and art glass, I like art glass myself. I have um, unusual gloves. You know, I don't buy just any of those paperweight gloves. They have to be unique and preferably signed so they're worth more money. But I look at the vases because my husband always buys me flowers. It's been like seven years now. I always have flowers. And so I have a collection of nice vases that I bought at the thrift store. And so whenever I find a better one, I swap it out. And then of course now I'm also looking for resale, right? And so I think the, previously the reason I, I liked that is because it gave me a reason to collect something, more art glass, but it's still functional, right? It's not just sitting around, it's functional as well. Because I don't really want to have start a lot more collections. I did that when I was younger with mermaids. It turned out to be 300 pieces um, because people will give me mermaids as gifts and whatnot. So <laughs> it's about 300 pieces now. It's in a box. It's in three boxes in my mom's basement. My mom has them. So anyways, moving along. This one's cute. It was only $1.50, $1.99. No markings, unfortunately. It's a reddish color. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I don't know if you're going to be able to see the beautiful reddish color but it is cut glass so even though there's no name attached I think I can still sell this little bud vase maybe for I don't know I wish it was marked I wish it, you know it was from a good maker I couldn't find anything Bavarian maybe I don't know but it's adorable and I'm going to put it up for sale probably for only like 15 okay but it was only $1.99 this one is more modern too i'm almost sure and you know it's got a little bit of quality but not real real good quality like some of the lead crystal bases um no markings but it wasn't that expensive and i like it it's a swung vase i'm learning controlled bubbles so um and if it doesn't sell, I think I'm okay to add this to my collection, this little bud vase. I don't have a lot of bud vases. I get the bigger ones. Um, but I think I'll, if it doesn't sell for a decent amount, I'll put it up for like 20 um, since it's unmarked and not a high-end name. And if it doesn't sell, I'll just use this because this goes quite well with my art glass um, paperweights. Anyways, I'm just giving some key keyword names that I've learned. Now this one I'm pretty sure is more significant. This thing is heavy. This weighs about six pounds. Another swung vase, like swing but swung. And um, some people say pulled or stretch. I don't know if you can tell this either. It's a beautiful like dark purple, almost black, kind of ombre fade. Um, the thinner parts that were stretched out are more of a lighter purple. It's really pretty. I'm pretty sure it's not. Some of it's coming across, right? So no markings. Oh, darn it. So I can't really attribute it to anything, but I still think it's worthy of about maybe $30 or $40. I'm going to try, okay? I'm not sure. I could be wrong. I wish it was like a higher end marked piece. But it is beautiful. If I can get some of the pictures to show the beauty of this, I think someone will like it. This one weighs almost eight pounds. <laughs> this one. Oh, I died for this one. This was where I ran over there by myself. Like I was filming with you guys. 
but I turned the camera off and I just went over there and started putting all of this in my car, all of these vases. <laughs> and I told you guys, sorry, I had to do that without you. There were people there and I saw a lot of good vases. So this is one of them. This is about eight pounds. It's like quartz, alabaster, stone, marble, something like that. It is unmarked as well. That's so, you know, but it's still, this has some value. This is a nice heavy duty piece. It has one little chip on it that I'm going to buff out under the rim like it's under the rim for one and you could just put it toward the back i'm tempted to keep this one i bet you this looks really pretty with like a candle or something in it because some there's wax in it i think that's what someone used it for and i've seen like new age spas and new age stores you know i've seen them like use things like this in a smaller version and put like candles in it and it has a real pretty effect it's like a new age fairy lamp or something right um i paid ten dollars and i'm not quite sure the value of it yet i'm just guessing off my raw very rough initial research even though it's not marked about fifty dollars forty to fifty dollars but I'm not sure. This one I'm probably going to keep. And this is heavy. It's so beautiful. And then one more. Well, sort of. You guys probably already see this, right? You know this had to happen, right? Hashtag save the smileys. That's going to be for me. This one. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, this one looks like cut glass. But it's not. It's, um... I... Hopefully someone who already knows this stuff that watches will leave a comment on anything i say wrong that we can come back later and read and learn more i i see two lines so two-piece mold i've heard people talk about two-piece mold three-piece mold four-piece mold so i'm just taking a wild guess this is a two-piece mold but it's still beautiful so image reverse image search kept bringing up some clear ones um by Lady Victoria? Lady Victoria, I believe. And so I did some research on that, and that was a, you know, that's like a lower end, entry level brand, you know, to some crystal and glassware. Those vases, even some people have them new in box for like $20. And I didn't see where they did anything, anything at all in this color, this beautiful, like peachy salmon coral color. So I kept looking and I'm glad I did because I did find this. Um, it says France on it. This weighs about almost five pounds, quite heavy. And um, I already forgot the name, darn it. I'm going to put it up here, okay? I'm going to put it up here when I edit because I already forgot the name. Um, okay, it's got a name. But it does say France on it. It's really pretty. Somebody just put the felt, the felt things on there. Isn't that a beautiful color? Oh my gosh. So, I think I'm going to put this up for about uh, 35 to 40 because, and give it some time because I'm okay to keep this one too. I'm okay to sell it at a decent price. I'm okay to keep it. Okay, let's get this over with. Yeah, uh huh. Hashtag save the smileys. $2.99, worth every penny. It's going in my collection. <laughs> love that so uh, we haven't done this this ginger jar or urn it could be um, made it could be used for an urn not to be morbid but you know that's a thing I know that um, when we had someone pass away in the family that wanted to be cremated and so we took the family member around a lot of places to look for some urns because the ones that were offered at the funeral parlor shall we say just first of all quite expensive not that that matters at the time but just you know a point and just a limited choices um so we took her around and we found something different and so i was i would think that even something like this uh, for someone who's into this design it could make a good a good urn as well but i think technically it's called a ginger jar okay this one is not japanese this is just chinese and it's relatively modern enameled cloisonne and on brass but it is in great condition no chips at all it does have the little wiring 
um, even the top is a little bit different than a lot of them. They didn't skimp out. They went ahead and put one more feature, right? So, and the reason I really love this one is the, mo the motif, the theme. There's some really nice dragons, and I liked the bottom of the sea waves. Usually they're just a bunch of scrolly flowers and things like that. I'm hoping that somewhere there's a hidden symbol that maybe leans toward where it came from, but they're typically unmarked, I've learned, this, these more modern ones, um, Chinese modern ones. But I still think this one will bring some money because I sold a cloisonne tissue box cover, what, two months ago for like $60? I'll find it and stick it up here too. Okay, so I'm going to put this one, I'm going to start this at 60 and just see what happens. People will tell me if I'm too high, <laughs> so believe me. Um, okay, so back to the marking. So for instance, I saw an unusual marking that, and so I kind of researched and reversed image searched on that thinking that's kind of a random marking let me see if that's a clue because I know some countries do that um, some of the Middle Eastern or like Africa things like that sometimes they'll put or Indian Native American Indian culture some kind of indigenous and Aboriginal those kind of things sometimes it's not really marked but there's like a hidden something you know like a bead a certain color of bead or a certain symbol Another thing I learned to help doing research is some things can be identified by these ring patterns. So, can't talk about this too much more because limited knowledge, okay? Just enough to know that some of these have resale value and that tissue box went over well. It was like $5 until almost 60 Don't quote me until the picture comes up, which I'll put in there. So, that happened. All right, so let's talk about this. I think you can call this a console set, right? I'm not sure. Can you call it a console set if it's like a vase like this and not a big dish to put like fruit or candy in? I think you can. I'm not 100% sure. Somebody can correct me if I'm wrong. I'm still learning. These are awesome. Not branded. I think this is a home job or just mass produced, but I do not care. Um... It was reasonably priced to begin with, but they had this set up on the top of a rounder. And of course, I'm tall, so I look at all top of all the rounders, you know, their little displays. And they had it in the men's department. So some people are afraid to even pick things up from, you know, the display, but not me. I'll pick things up from the display. <laughs> and, um, you know, I'll take something off a mannequin. I will if I want it. Um, so anyways, it made it to the one-third color sale, and I'm like, oh, there's only a couple more days to the half price till this color moves to half price. I think I'm going to give it a chance. And, and it made it. So I got all of this for like $8. But it's very well done. It's kind of 3D, you know, enameled. And it really smacks of um, 80s, 90s, this pattern. And so I know that the trend lately with the young people has been like, um, you know, like with the rockabilly, they're doing the vintage, you know, the 50s housewife, all that. And with clothing, I've noticed, you know, we've been, we redid the 60s real heavy and the 70s real heavy. Um, and now I'm talking about in general and a mainstream flow, okay? There's always going to be outliers. But I'm pretty sure we're going to move really heavier into the 80s and 90s. So I think some people who, especially the young people who decorate based on trends, I think we might see a lot of them switch to a 80, more of an 80s and 90s theme with some old school hip hop and some old school like pretty in pink um, and the breakfast club type stuff. So I'm going to put this up. I'm going to put this up a little higher and see what happens. I think this is wonderful. Okay. Tell me if you agree. Kind of awesome, huh? Um, this is just a mirrored box. I'm just going to mention it real quick. Mirrored box. The reason nobody wanted it even at Marshall's. It's contemporary. Look, nobody even wanted it at Marshall's. It even went down to $5.50. But I'm amazed. No chipped corners. The reason I got it 
for how much? $2.99. That's a good deal. It's still perfect, still new, of course. And the brand name is okay. I love selling their clothing, Tahari. Tahari clothing has a you know a good resale value. It's not like high-end luxury, but it's not mall stuff, so to speak, either. You know, it's a little bit higher price point, and the stuff sells resale value um, holds up pretty well on Tahari. They've been making stuff for quite some time. So I'm probably just going to use this myself. Okay, how long is this video? 26, yeah. Because there are a few more things, but, you know, th oh, that's enough. Let's talk about this. Mm -hmm. So, every once in a while, Goodwill will make a mistake. This is Sterling. Um, doesn't happen very often. It's only happened to me being in the right Goodwill at the right time twice twice in like I don't know how many years because I found some silver flatware still in the package 19 cents a piece it's sterling silver it's a high-end name um, I haven't even listed it I save it for like a um, I might list it someday I might scrap it I don't know sometimes things are worth more scrapping sometimes because of the name and the date age sometimes it's worth more keeping it whole and selling it that way to a collector um, I haven't decided because like right now, you know, zombie apocalypse, um, preppers doomsday scenario. <laughs> I've got something besides my credit card, you know, for maybe some clout. I've got some food and, you know, <laughs> stuff like that. Not that I'm a prepper, but you know, anyways, back to this. Nice, huh? This is silver. It took me a while. I took a picture with my phone and then blew it up so I could see the mark the maker's mark is a owl with a W in it you're not gonna probably be able to see that but it's right there <laughs> um, and so this is a I'm gonna murder this Weidlich German Weidlich I'll put it up here W E I D L I C H and it's a thing and um, this is sterling this weighs about 15 ounces when I went online to the converter silver spot is somewhere around $12 an ounce and so this converts to um, as scrap to just around 150 180 depending on you know the cut that someone takes but because of the name and the rarity of this it's it's I've seen some sell for like around that price age, price range, even up to about like um, $250 uh, for more ornate patterns. Now, I'm not scared of this one because it's not more ornate, because this is really a nice pattern, a nice, simple, clean pattern and design. So I think to, you know, with my artistic temperament, I'm going to be a purist here and I'm going to put this up for sale, definitely. Because a, a collector might want this piece and, you know, it might get way more value than scrap. But I can also scrap it if I ever have some kind of emergency. But this is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. $2.49. Money maker. All right. I do have some clothing. Oh, gosh. I do have a few pieces of clothing and it's actually quite interesting because some of it is worth money but um, 26 minutes okay I think I'll do that with another little haul video okay all right oh and this cards against humanity this is the base pack now the price has come down a lot on cards against humanity yes this is a base base pack the kit and you used to be able to get, you know, $40, $50. And so now I think this is probably about $15 to $20, $20 if it's still new. I paid $4.99 because I already have a set and a lot of expansion packs. And it's a great game. Oh, my gosh. It's so funny. Um, you know, it's not PG, okay? You might want to pull out some cards, you know, some people pull out certain cards that they feel like are a little bit over the top, you know, even for their liberal attitude. Um, but if you have children, it's like apples to apples, play apples to apples if you have children. <laughs> but if you want to have some more, you know, adult fun and, you know, risque, not risque as in, you know, 
nasty. You know what I mean? Like politically incorrect, <laughs> but it's hilarious. And I'm mentioning it because some of the expansion packs are more rare. Some of the little free gifts that you got with purchase limited edition are rare and those bring more money. So you would just like put in cards against humanity and just like search solds and for you can do for sale too but compare it with solds and like see what it is that's rare that's selling for higher dollar that higher dollar that's why i'm mentioning this sorry i'm starting to hurry because at one o'clock lindy has started her motivation monday her live motivation mondays and i'm her um number one mod and i love her side chat she has the best side chat people so that's at one o'clock and so i'm gonna wrap this up eat some lunch my husband's home and then do do Lindy's um, little half hour Monday motivation. It's live. Join us in a side chat on Mondays on her channel, Lindy Glenn. Especially if you live in a, she lives in a small town, and so she only has one Goodwill, and and she has children. So she has grown to do liquidation pallets, and she's doing some un unusual things with liquidation pallets. So if you like your merchandise coming to you. You can't get out much, limited resources as far as sourcing thrifted items, um, and you're interested in pallets and liquidation boxes, that's, Lindy's your girl for that. Anyways, then I will edit this and get it up. So you're watching it now, that's what happened. <laughs> All right, you guys, I will talk to you later or see you on one of your videos. Thanks and have a great day.